Okay, today we have a middle-sized pocket bot that's 3D printed and battery operated. I was digging around, well, basically, you know, I'm waiting for the motors to arrive so I can do this fancier uh, translucent red large version with the TT gear motor, which who knows when they'll get here. And I was digging around through my stuff and I found that I still had one of the uh, N20, that's the very small motors, with the uh, dual right angle shafts on it. So I went, well, why don't I just shrink down all my files till the N20 motor fits in there and I know the batteries can't be in there, but let's uh, let's go with that. So let's move this guy out of the way and focus more just on these. Let's maybe even zoom in, huh? Maybe that's too much of a zoom. We won't be able to see it walking. So uh, the battery's not being in it. I just used a, an external uh, three AA battery pack. Got a real light zip cord here. Uh, if you put anything heavy on there, you'll tend to make the robot tip over, just like these pocket bots like to tip over. So we have to use something light. But there we have it. And again, it's just the uh, LEDs with the built-in flashers, a current limiting resistor, and I put a capacitor across there too, so if the motor was going to make noise to make them wh whack out, that it, that it wouldn't. I didn't do much of a full paint job on this. Basically, the only thing that I <clears throat> painted was the chrome top of the head. I printed the uh, top dome disc and the eyes in translucent red so I could uh, backlight the eyes. Uh, it's with uh, three millimeter LEDs. The dome is a uh, 40 millimeter clear plastic uh, ornament dome. You can get it at any craft store and find them online dirt cheap. Uh, the back is now back to the standard pocket box type back. So I brought the uh, power cord out through the crotch. So there's a new little door piece here that the wire passes through. Uh, the way the gear motor sits in there, the, the terminals on the gear motor are aiming down, so they're right here on the bottom. So before you so, uh, before you glue the feet on, you can get in there with a soldering gun to uh, attach your, your two wires. And at the same time, I brought two wires up from the bottom to supply the power to the upper head part. Turned out quite nice. I will put the files for this up on Thingiverse 2. I don't think there'll ever be a build video for this one. Uh, simply because I haven't got any plans of buying any more N20 uh, dual shaft low RPM motors. They're kind of expensive. But, uh, very quiet. Could sneak up on you. And again, uh, all the parts, in this case, I just printed, with the exception of the two red parts we just talked about, everything was just printed in the same gray PLA. So, I mean, it could have painted the parts or printed them in different colors. But uh, this project being so small, all of the parts for it, like if you wanted to just paint the eyes and the top thing, if you printed everything in gray PLA, all the parts will fit on... Uh, the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, which has got a bag over it. And uh, I, have, I don't think I've ever talked about this, but I always bag all of my uh, printers when I'm not using them. This is a big uh, clothing bag, but you could, you don't have to see through it. It's not important to see through it. The main, what we're trying to do here is keep the dust out of the mechanics, the traveling parts. And because the uh, A1 Mini uses a lot of linear rails, if you get dust up inside those ball bearing linear rails, you're not going to work. In fact, if you uh, read the care and maintenance by Bamboo Lab on this, they want you to clean all of the linear rail and slide rail parts and even the screw feed for the Z-axis monthly and lubricate because if the dust gets in there, it's going to cause friction and then your machine's not going to be able to print three to five times faster anymore. And uh, it's because it does print three to five times faster that I was able to do this project. 
of just scaling everything down and making it fit and print the parts in one day. And at the same time, uh, having completed printing the uh, parts for the one that I'm waiting for the TT gear motors, the blue ones in particular, the metal gears, to arrive so I can uh, finish that original build.